So we went through some of the feedback on what this looks like. I posted this on my Discord. Biggest issue that came back was this thing, which uh, we suggested was a touch screen. Now, it wasn't what I was thinking about touch screen. I didn't come back and kind of like feel that out. So let's probably just go ahead and do something with this because yes, it does look like a touch screen. Obviously we haven't textured it or anything. So let's somehow clean this up. I reckon what we might do is maybe put in some sort of uh, container on the back here and that might clean that up. I really do like the shape that we have here. So I do want to keep it. Um, let's just maybe just do a quick little bevel just here. Just a, ugh. that did not go as well as I hoped. Uh, scaling is fine. Control B, no. Okay, let's not do that then. Yes, so what I wanna do is kind of create uh, a bit of a container that sits on the back there. Maybe two of them, so it contains maybe some sort of energy source or, oh no, even better. Let's go, um, we here, Shift S cursor. Shift S cursor selected. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cylinder. Okay, scale that down. Rotate 45 degrees, and then that'll give us uh, the same angle. Now, I did this in object mode, so that now, if I go GY, obviously it moves like that. But if I press Y again, it's actually gonna go along the normal. And that's like everything in edit mode. So for instance, this vertice, I can go GY, and obviously along the Y axis, but if I press Y again, it's going on the object thing. The word escapes me. It's 12.30. Transformation. There we go. That's what it is. So maybe here we create some sort of um, something that sits on here. And so as you can see now, I can double tap ZZ, and then that follows the object rotation. So I'm going to keep that. Let's select this. We're going to go I to do an inset, E to extrude, I, E, I, E. All right, so we've got kind of like this plate that's sitting here. And maybe on here, maybe on here, this is what connects to this face. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see how that works. So Shift D, I'm going to press P separate by selection, just so we can focus on that little ring in here. Um, is that only one ring? Yep, awesome. Let's go E to extrude. Actually, let's scale it a little bit. Uh, shift, right click. We still have our spin tool enabled, which is over here on the left hand side. So T, if you don't have that menu. Let's go like so, holding control snap. We'll go back to 12. And then let's go E to extrude, probably about here. Shift, right click, E. Uh, and extrude again, there we go, E to extrude. So now we kind of have this piece. Yeah, nice. Definitely need, we need to throw something in here. Maybe just, I don't want to go paneling. I do want to create some sort of object that sits here. That's cool, actually, that actually looks really nice. What I was thinking from a little bit far back is we have this and I can't just go I can't just put in a um, panel line like we normally do. So what I'm gonna have to do is select this and this. We'll press I to do an inset to bring it in. And then because we've got these edges selected, I can go and control B to do a bevel. Let's go middle mouse up one. Control numpad minus to minimize my selection. That didn't work, so let's undo. Press number two to go into edge mode. That's not gonna work because we've got this inside face. So alt left click that line, alt left click the inside line. Let's go scale along the X axis to bring it in. Excellent. And then press V to rip just to kind of like split the outside of the inside. Um, and then what I might do is I'm just gonna select two places, three places, control B, control numpad minus, and then alt S to scale that in. So you can see that we've just added in some extra little details very quickly. Maybe select these, this edge and this edge, and then just do control B to do a bevel, just a little one. Cool, I like that. I think that looks great. Here, let's go back. I got distracted. That's what I like to do. I like to pop around as much as possible. When I don't have something that's like an actual answer, 
go somewhere else and we can come back. Maybe here we can cr uh, create those containers, which is what I was thinking about. So this selected, Shift S cursor selected, I'm going to go into a cylinder. Let's go scale. We can move this over and we'll go scale again. Uh, let's push it back a bit. Yep. Scale on the Z. I'm going to select the top face and the bottom face. Control B to do a bevel. And we can put a canister like this. I think that looks nice. Now, obviously, it needs to be connected somehow. So we want to create a bit of a band. So I'm just going to Alt Left Click on this edge. Shift D to duplicate. Scale Z. And we can put one up here. Shift D Z and put one here. What I do want to do is I'm going to grab both of these. Control L P separate by selection. Now what we can go do into add modifiers. We can go into solidifier. Make it zero. I hate you. <laughs> Let's undo that. Let's select our bands. Add modify. Generate. Solidify. Modifier. Make that zero. And there we go. So now we've very quickly added in some bands. A little bit too thick. So maybe point. 005? Yeah, look at that. Delicious. So if you've gotten this far, can you just hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to get that 100,000 mark and it would help tremendously. I'm going to apply by pressing Control A or we can just click the drop down and click apply. And then I'm going to grab maybe just this area here. So you, 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 and you. E to extrude along the Y axis. And then we have kind of like this connection through there. It should be, I think there should be some things wrapping around here. Or we could, <laughs> we could even do this and this and go GZ. Maybe we can pull this piece back and that gives us that. Not bad. All right. I like that. Um, we've broken up the symmetry, which is nice. Maybe under here, if we duplicate this face, GY, what I want to do is create some sort of fins, maybe some like cooling fins. So I'm going to press I to do an inset, delete the outside loops, Control R, add in a bunch like so, Control L to select everything that's linked. I love that option. I'm going to press I to do an inset. And I'm going to press I to do individual insets. So we have this. Oops, went to a little bit too far. Okay. Let's now select all the outside delete vertices. So now we've got these individual pieces. Select them. Control L, select everything in this link. E to extrude. And then when we go ahead and select L, everything with Control L. And then we can put it back like that. Yes. I'm actually okay with this. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. We haven't done this turret section. What is that? I like this bit here. Oh, that's um, some faces there going over each other. Let's grab that G Y. Just pull it out a little bit. That's looking good. Let's select our little cannon area. We'll do I to do an inset. And that looks very off. What's the scale of this? Scale is completely wrong. So if I press I to do an inset, we can see how we've got vertical lines here and it's not very uniform. So let's do a control A, apply the scale. So everything's one, 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 one. I to do an inset. And now that looks like so much even. E to extrude. I'm just gonna push it all the way out. Uh, auto smooth. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon that's great. I reckon I might just leave it there. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Let's just clean this section up real quick. We'll go here and here, GZ. Bring that down. Let's maybe just do a bit of an edge loop through there, delete faces, and then we'll do another one here. Control B, delete faces. There we go. Nice. I mean, that's looking good. Just mm, grunty. Um... I like that, I like that, I like that. I got, I've gotten distracted, which is awesome. Let's maybe do, come down here, I to do an inset. There we go, E. If I press E, you can see how kind of like everything moves together and we don't want that. We want individual faces going in and out. So we can come up to the top here to change the transform pivot point. If I change that to individual origins, we go E to extrude and then it does individual. Nice, good. Go back to medium point.